what more can you do on your end to try to spark things? Um, well, f first, I, I mean, Hill obviously shut us down and was real pitch efficient there through five. I, I actually thought it bat-wise against Hill. Um, you know, we hit a number of balls on the screws. You know, at bat quality was, you know, much better than I thought over the weekend. Just didn't have much to show for it. And then they, they can match you up pretty good. Um, you know, we're just going to keep pouring into, you know, game plans and, and you know, where where we can try and make subtle adjustments with, with individuals um, and, and things we're looking for and searching for, and we'll keep working at it. Is Andujar starting to look much more comfortable at the plate? Yeah, it was good to see him get a couple really good swings off today. Obviously, the double he was, and then the homer the other way. Um, it's good to see, you know. We know what he's capable of, you know, maybe he can get a little bit of traction going and, and certainly, uh, you know, add some length to our lineup. And with Tyone, how do you evaluate his day as a whole? I thought he threw the ball well. I thought actually, I thought his other pitches were even more in the mix today. You know, I thought he flashed some good sliders. You know, Kiermaier took advantage of a couple mistakes to start innings, to start rallies for him. I, you know, I probably yanked the, that slider to uh, Meadows a little bit who, who got him down the line. But I, I thought overall, I thought I thought he threw the ball pretty well, and I thought stuff-wise was, was, was good today. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, since Stanton has come back, he, he's had kind of a little bit of a rough a rough go of it. I mean, he's, he's not the only one that's struggling in the lineup. Does moving him around at all, you think, help just as far as pressure-wise, or... Does he just work out of it from where where he's at? I mean, when, when he's good, you know the damage that he can do, obviously. Moving around, what do you mean? In the lineup? Like, yeah, in I mean, the if order? you tried him in a different, yeah. Oh, I, I mean, he's been back a couple days. I mean, you right. know, so, you know, I'm not, uh, G will be fine as, as long as he's healthy and, you know, starts to get his reps going. He'll be fine. Um You know, he actually just missed the ball off of, you know, and gotten a 2-0 count against Hill, too, and, just missed one up to left center, so you know he. You know it's fair to say he's probably dusting off some rust right now, but um, you know as long as he's healthy, he should round into form here. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Who else? Greg Joyce, go ahead. Aaron, it seemed like you guys came out pretty aggressive against Till swinging early in counts. Was that kind of the game plan going in against him? Yeah, I mean, look, <clears throat> you know one of. The, you know, as much as, you know, I talk about and we talk about here controlling the strike zone and making pitchers work, that doesn't mean don't be aggressive. Uh, you know, a lot of times that first pitch is the best one you're going to get. And, and if and if something you're looking for in an area you can do damage against, uh, you know, I thought guys got a lot of good swings off in the first inning. You know, DJ smokes the ball, lines out the center to start things, judgy the double, Geo hit three balls really well today. And, and had nothing to show for it. But, you know, I thought game plan, I thought they got some pretty good swings off a of hill for, for him shutting us down. Lindsay Adler, go ahead. Aaron, you've talked about this a few times over the years, but what would you say that the Yankees' offensive philosophy is? Um, well, control the strike zone and, and do damage when you get a pitch that's, you know, a mistake or or your pitch to do damage with and that's that's the identity we've got to get back to to having that's you know what these guys have been so good at you know over the last several years is is you know that pass the baton make a pitcher work you know when when you get done with us in a series um, you know, even even if even if you've had success on a given day or success in a given series where a guy's pitched really well, you know, we want we want you to feel like it was heavy, it was difficult, it was a lot to get through us, and and that hasn't been the case enough, and that's what we got to get back to as a group, really making sure we are, you know, <clears throat> you know, not taking it all upon ourselves, but going up there and grinding out a really tough at bat, and you know, if we can do that, and with the guys we have in there that are capable, that should start to work.